What's up guys, and in this episode of Death Bites, I'm going to be giving you a review on the Samsung Galaxy S4, so let's get started. Well, where do I start? The Samsung Galaxy S4 has a lot of new features, some more useful than others, like the smart features. Since there were so many smart features added at once from the Samsung Galaxy S3, a lot of these features you have to learn and memorize, and I find myself actually turning some of them off, excluding Smart Stay. And I think a lot of people do that too, where they turn off, because it's just a lot to learn, and you're like, you know, if you're on a picture and you want to view the album, you're like, oh, I forgot, I can hover over it, you know. It's, it's just too much to learn that, you know, it's, it's just so much that people don't really realize that they have a feature to do that. And they just, it wastes battery life to have a feature that's on when you don't really need it on. So if you are unaware that you have smart scroll on and you're viewing something like this and you start to lean, let's say, back like that and so all of a sudden the, the web page is scrolling and you're like, what the heck? And then you try to you know, fix it and it just starts scrolling and you're like, well, what is that? You might not know what it is at first and then you might realize, well, I have smart scroll on and then later turn it off. Going on to air gestures, again, some of them I don't use. I do keep on one, though, air view is for web page zooming so that when I view a, a certain word, I can zoom into it. So both my parents actually got the Samsung Galaxy S4 too. S-Beam is a really great feature, so if I take a photo, my dad wants it, I can actually beam it to him. So we put our devices together and he's got it. Well, let's say my mom wants an app that I have that is really cool. So we beam phones. And it's really much more helpful than uploading it to, let's say, Dropbox and then having it upload. Let's say I'm on a 4G network and it's even worse. Not that a 4G network is slow, but it's slower than my Wi-Fi. So, I have to upload it to Dropbox, wait for that to load, and then they have to go on to Dropbox, and then download it, where you can just beam phones and you got it. And iPhone doesn't have NFC, so that makes it much better. The 1080p display on this phone makes web browsing, or looking at photos, or videos, or just doing normal tasks beautiful. The colors really pop out, I must say. Okay, so who remembers a time where you would take a picture on your phone and upload it to something? It would look absolutely terrible, and everyone noticed it. Like, like if you want to take a picture of a, a bee on a flower, you're like, it's so blurry and distorted and it's really bad that you can't even see the bee. But, if you take it on the S4, it just looks absolutely nice. It's obviously not as good as if you would take a picture with a camera, but some cameras are actually coming close to this smartphone. Like this. This is a Canon PowerShot SD1300IS. The pictures on this will actually come close to the S4. It might even be better. Now this is an older camera and actually I got it in 2010, I'm not sure, but point and shoot cameras back then were good and now and now smartphones will really come close to that if not exceed it or just meet it. The camera on the S4 is actually 13 megapixels. Speaking of photos and videos, the new dual video mode on Samsung Galaxy S4 will capture your face and what is going on in front of you at the same time. The camera, as many others say, is the best smartphone camera of all time. Better than the iPhone 5, better than the HTC One. And in my experience, obviously, I haven't had too many phones in my time, but I've had, uh, as far as the Galaxy goes, the Galaxy S1, Galaxy S3, and Galaxy S4 now. Um, but, uh, I, obviously, the camera is much better than the Galaxy S3. And one. And all the other phones I've had. As for battery life goes, I'm lucky to get two days with charging it the second night. But I've never really gotten that much farther than that. I might have gone the third day, but having to charge it that morning or something. It, it's a little bit better than the Galaxy S3. I might get a couple more, like an hour. Like, it's just very little different, but it is noticeable. I can control my so-called home theater system in my room here with the IR blaster that is built into the S4. 
and what an IR blaster is, if you take a look at any remote, you will see a sensor at the top here, and that is what is called an IR blaster, and if you point that at a cable or TV or whatever, um, it'll actually, that's how it controls it, and it uses light to do that. And this is actually what it has right here, is this, I don't know if you can see it's out of focus, but right here where this opening is, is where the IR blaster is, and you can control basically anything that a universal remote can, like on my TV, my AV receiver, and my DVR. It actually comes with a built-in app that you can control, it's called Watch On. It's obviously free, and it's really good, and which, believe me, I use it a lot. For some reason, my stereo remote won't turn on my AV receiver, but it'll turn it off. So when I'm, you know, in bed in, in the morning and I don't feel like getting up to turn my receiver on, I just use my phone to turn it on. Sprint actually offers a great 4G service, which makes the S4 fast. And what's a cell phone without the cell phone? The call quality on the GS4 is actually good. You wouldn't, having good service plays a big role in it too, but definitely having a good microphone and a good speaker will play a bigger role in it as well. Do I like it? Yes. Would I recommend it? From an upgrade from the GS3, I would say if you re if you want to, yes. If you have any other phone besides the Note 2 or the HTC One, yes. Okay, I think that wraps up this review for the GS4. Uh, if you have any questions about the GS4, make sure you leave a comment down below. And if you like this review, make sure you like it. And to see more technology videos, if you're a new person, make sure you subscribe to me. I post technology videos as much as I can. Thanks. So what is on my Galaxy S4? This is my home screen right here. Uh, I just, I had the Galaxy S3 before and these are actually all the same apps. 